Hey Explorers, on today's episode we're talking small talk. I mean really small talk. We're talking about the smallest parts of matter called atoms and molecules. Then I'm going to show you how to make these models of molecules that you can actually eat. So get ready and let's make homemade science. Atoms and molecules are the smallest parts of what make matter. What's matter? Nothing. What's matter with you? <laughs> matter is anything that takes up space and can be weighed. Solids like ice, rocks, and wood. Liquids like water, milk, and oil. And gases like steam and the air we breathe. These are all kinds of matter. But things like light, sound, and feelings aren't matter because they don't take up space and can't be weighed. And that's a matter of fact. Here's a glass of water. Water takes up space and can be weighed. Did you know that if we divided water into smaller and smaller parts until we got to the smallest, tiniest part, we would have one single water molecule? A molecule is the smallest part of something that still acts like that thing. For example, a single water molecule is tiny and too small to see without using other tools. But it's still water and can freeze and boil and taste and feel just like water. But molecules, like water molecules, can be separated into smaller parts, but then it's not water anymore. You see, molecules are made up of groups of atoms. The word atom comes from the Greek word atomos, which means that which can't be cut or divided. Atoms cannot be cut or divided using normal methods. They're the smallest, tiniest parts of matter. Think of them like the building blocks of matter. Each block by itself is just a block. Not all of them look the same, but we can put them together to make something else, like a tower or a car or a bridge. Think of each block like an atom. Each block by itself is just a block, but when we put them together, we can make something else. Just like when we put atoms together, we can make something else called molecules. So back to our water example. Each water molecule has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. By themselves, they're just elements, but put together, they bond to make water. What's the matter? You need more explanation? To help better understand molecules, let's make some models that we can actually eat. For this project, you'll need marshmallows. I use the regular and jumbo size, chocolate chips or melting chocolate, small pretzel sticks, and toppings like sprinkles and crushed walnuts. To model a water molecule, take a jumbo mallow and stick in two pretzels at an angle. 104.5 degrees to be exact, but who's counting? Then just stick on the two smaller mallows. For a carbon dioxide molecule, take three regular mallows and put them in a line held by pretzels. Now melt your chocolate in the microwave at 15 to 30 seconds at a time, stirring between each time. This will keep it from burning. Ask an adult for help on this part. Now drizzle it all over your mallow. Now, just add your toppings. Be creative with this part. Now refrigerate until the chocolate hardens. Once it's cooled, enjoy your edible molecules. Colossians 1, 16 and 17 say, For by him all things were created, visible and invisible. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. After God created the world, he didn't just leave it to do its own thing. He's still actively involved in sustaining it and keeping it going and holding everything together. How do we know that? Because the Bible says so. And if God cares so much about the giant planets and the tiny little molecules, how much more would he care for you who's made after his image? Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. If you want to see more content like this, click subscribe. And remember, creation always points to a creator. We'll see you next time.